Liverpool will be looking to close out the group stage with a perfect record Tuesday night when they face Milan at the San Siro. Klopp side already through as group winners, but it is a must win for the Italians who are in a three-way battle for second place. Lucho, it was an absolute thriller, wasn't it, when these two teams met on match day one? How do you see it unfolding this time out? I thought you were going to say there was a thriller when we saw these two <laughs> games play back in 2005. Okay, put it out there. That, that on one the side. too, that one too. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Yes, of course, but listen, uh, uh, Liverpool is in the moment now that is like, like a drill. He's a bulldozer now that is coming on. It doesn't matter who is playing because everybody is talking now, yeah, Liverpool is going to play with the, with the reserve team. They're going to play with the young players. It doesn't matter who plays at the moment because... Uh, they have so much confidence on all the players. Origia, the weekend, scoring and again the winner, a player who normally is not involved because they got fantastic player, Mane, Salah, Jota, who is doing fantastic up front. But listen, they got in front a very good team, a team that is getting better and better from the very beginning of the competition. They show that they are uh, getting stronger uh, in every single line. The middle with Kessier being uh, the, the key player to, to hold in and, uh, all the, 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 the tough uh, plays that they got in front. And up front with Ibrahimovic is doing fantastic. I think Pioli is doing a mass, uh, massive, massive uh, credit we have to give it to him because he's doing a great job giving a lot of confidence and bringing the best of every single player with Ibrahimovic, uh, Junior Messias. He's been a player who wasn't uh, already involved in scoring goals, uh, Ibrahim Diaz, so players who normally we were expecting good, but not that good. So very tough uh, game for AC Milan, but I think they're going to do it. Even though that I know that I follow uh, Liverpool, they needed it. Liverpool at the moment they got Aston Villa at the weekend, Stephen Gerrard managing that team. So... I think they're going to be looking forward to that game and maybe take a, take a, a rest against AC Milan. Yeah, this is a, a tough one to call, I think, all things considered for all the points that Lucho made. My one concern for Milan is that Ante Rebic is the one that caused a lot of damage the first time they played on match day one. He, his running, like in and behind, those little darting runs off the, the, off the shoulders of the center backs, I think caused Liverpool a lot of problems. And they were up 2-1, if you remember, at halftime of that game before Liverpool did what they do. And they're tremendous this season. It's creating opportunities and scoring goals. This time around, no Rebic. They're going to have Zlatan, who obviously is dangerous in different ways, but it's not the same that I think could really put that Liverpool defense on the back heel to really threaten them in a different type of way that I think they struggle with. I still like Liverpool in this one, despite the fact that they're going to make a lot of changes. There's still an identity there, whereas I think Milan may be still looking for it. They have some key injuries as well, namely to center back Simone Scher, who I think is a bit of a loss. Romanoli comes in, who obviously is a very good leader, but at times I think he lacks some defensive skills. And I actually am curious just about the Champions League in general for match day six. Do you stick with the same team at times? There's a lot of teams that have already qualified for the knockout rounds, but there's something about keeping your top players in good form and in a rhythm, even though you want to give them some rest at some times. I don't know. That's a big piece to this. So I'm very curious to see the starting lineups, and I think that will dictate kind of where I'm betting my money per se. But I don't think this is just a, a walkthrough for Milan just yet. I think Liverpool will have something to say in this game. Yeah, I never thought we'd see the day that Lucho Garcia would turn his I back know. on Liverpool Football oh. Club, but here the day has <laughs> arrived, Poppy. Um, interesting decision from Lucho, and I'm actually, you know, I, I'm intrigued because I don't know whether to go against Lucho because maybe he has inside information as to the team that Liverpool are putting out here in this game or not. But I, I think regardless, Jimmy's setting a point here. No matter which Liverpool side turns up, they seem to be in form, they seem to be hungry, they seem to be dangerous. And with their best starting 11, there's no doubt they're going to be very close to winning this whole competition this year. Uh, with their second best 11, they're still going to be very difficult to beat. And they're going to be a team that you've got to try and stop playing. AC Milan need to win this game. They've got to attack. They've got to go after Liverpool. Good luck when you leave those spaces and gaps in behind for players who are looking to impress, who have been sitting on the bench for Jurgen Klopp for all season long. And, of course, in Origi, we trust as the Liverpool fans continue to stay. There's an opportunity with a goal scorer up there who's a killer waiting to play and, and waiting to show what he's all about to try and get more minutes on the field. And Minamino, I mean, obviously the names continue to ring off. There's a lot of players who are just on this bench waiting to play for Liverpool Football Club. And AC Milan, two good wins though. They have had a 3-0 and a 2-0 victory in the last two games. Good win at the weekend against Salernitana. Um, they still have major injury issues. Simon Kier just went down with a very bad injury. It looks like he's out for a long time. Um, Giroud looks like he's out as well. So... 
it, it's going to be very difficult for AC Milan. However, the last time we bet against AC Milan, they turned up and they made this a fantastic game. So I'm hoping once again that Milan show up. I'd love to see them get that first goal and bring out the best and what we expect to be a second string Liverpool side who will still be dangerous.